Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to color an image using GIMP. GIMP is an image manipulating program and it's free so I suggest that you download it because it's very easy to use in my opinion and it's also very useful. So when you open GIMP you'll get this screen right here and you always want to start out with going file new or file open. I'm going to open an image and it'll pop up in the middle of the screen right here. I'm going to use this magnifying tool on my toolbox, select the region which I want to zoom into, and then I'm going to go to image, transform, and rotate 180 degrees to turn my image right side up. You can go to image, transform, and use any of these other options to make your image uh, go in the right direction. So right now you see this picture of my drawing that I took a picture of with my iPod. I suggest that if you have a scanner that you scan your image onto the computer because it will come out much clearer and more evenly lit. Now as you can see the lines of my picture are very dark and there are no parts of the drawing that are shaded in. When you're drawing your picture make sure that you don't color in or shade in any part of your drawing or else the next steps won't work. And make sure that the only dark part of your picture is your lining and all the details the small details that you add to your drawing are also in dark lining or they won't show up so right now I have this ugly gray background in addition to my lining that I want to get rid of I only want to keep this dark line of my drawing so I'm going to use the select by color tool and what this does is it selects all parts of the drawing which are the same color as the area which I click on. So right now, if I click on this dark part of my drawing right here, this lining, you can see that lots of the background is also selected because there are areas in the background which are the same color as the area which I clicked on. But if I click on a darker area like right here, then all my lining is selected. As you can see, there are some parts of my lining which are left out, and you can tell that they're not selected because these dashed lines aren't running through them. And if you have parts of your lining that aren't selected, keep clicking around until they are selected, or you can increase the threshold a, bit, a little bit. So go to your threshold and push it up. and this takes a bit of patience you just have to keep clicking around until your lining is selected and you want to make sure that the background doesn't show up so make sure that the background isn't selected in addition to your lining sorry this is taking longer than usual if too much of the background is selected then decrease the threshold by the way Okay, so right now, most of my lining is selected, and I hardly have any of the background selected. So I'm going to go to Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste as a new layer. Now, this is your Layers window, which you can get by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and then click Layers. And layers in this program work like stacks of paper. The first layer listed on your Layers window will be the one at the very top which will cover all layers below it and this bottommost layer is the one that is beneath you can arrange the layers by clicking these arrows right here and make a new layer by going to layer new layer now right here is where I pasted my lining and I'm going to rename it lining and as you can see, if I click this eyeball icon right here, I can make this topmost layer invisible or visible. And I don't need the bottommost layer, which is my original drawing. So I'm going to delete it by going to layer and then delete layer. Make these visible again. And as you can see, I only have these two basic layers of the lining and the background. Now I'm going to show you guys the quick and easy way to start coloring an image but if you have more details that you want to add or you want to make sure that your coloring is more accurate then just experiment around 
you know, use different ways to color that might be much more time consuming, but they might get you a better product. So I'm going to make sure that none of my drawing is selected by going to this rectangular select tool and clicking out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom most layer, this white layer right here, and I could start coloring. Let's say I wanted to color in this sleeve red. But as you can see, it goes out of lines, and it's very hard to stay in the lines even if you take your time. It would take too much time. So what we're going to do is when we're at the bottom most layer, we're going to zoom into the area which we want to color in. We're going to use this lasso tool right here and select the area which you want to color and make sure that you're not selecting any other parts of the drawing. And what this does is it singles out this area as the only place which can be affected by the paintbrush that we're going to use. Once you've selected it, go to Edit Copy and then Edit Paste as a new layer. And it'll show up right here as Clipboard, but you want to rename it, whatever it's called. And then you're going to make the bottom most layer right here invisible. Zoom out by going Control on your keyboard and scrolling out. And then use this Move tool to move the area which you just copied into the correct spot on your picture that matches up with the lining. And now that it's all matched up, you can start coloring using this paintbrush right here. Select your color by clicking on this square, and you can make the size of your brush bigger or smaller by using this option bar right here. I'm just going to color it in red, and as you can see, it doesn't get on any other part of the picture. You can make highlights and shadow marks using this dodge slash burn tool. When you put it on burn, it makes shadows. You'll see it. It makes shadows. And the dodge tool right here makes highlights. As you can see, I'm not so great at this, but you can be more creative. So as you can see, you don't mess up any other part of your drawing if you stray out of the lines because you are only coloring one layer. You're not coloring the whole picture. Now that you've finished coloring one part of your picture, let's say you want to move on to the cuff of his sleeve right here. You're going to select out by using this rectangle tool select clicking an area and then clicking out of it. And then you're going to go back to your bottom most layer and you're going to repeat the process with the new part of the drawing. I'm going to select it using the lasso tool. Then I'm going to go to edit copy, edit paste as new layer, rename it, Make the bottom most layer transparent, zoom out, and drag it onto the area. Oops. You want to drag it onto the area which it fits. Zoom in and start coloring. And so you can do this with each part of the drawing that you want to be a different color. And this is the quick way to color an image, but if you want to make more accurate, more detailed drawings, then you might want to search around and find your own method to coloring it in. And then to save your image, you're going to go File, Save As, and then just save it to your pictures or an area that's accessible to you. Thanks for watching my video. Please check in my channel to see more videos. And I hope that I've helped you learn a bit more about how to use this program and how to color an image. Thanks for watching again, and see you next time.